I said, exactly what you're trying to do. And Mrs. Jones, if spot reduction worked, chewing bubble gum would give you a skinny face, wouldn't it? Well, not only would I invalidate her beliefs, but I'd invalidate the friend who told her to do that, who, by the way, had phenomenal legs, so she knows. So we'd get into an argument, and who would win? I would. Because at that time, I had more scientific rationale in my arsenal than she had in hers. So I would defeat her. How do we feel about people who make us constantly feel wrong? Are we more receptive? How many of you, by sheer rationale, have ever been beaten into concession of an argument? All right, one person. Sorry, mate. The next day I'd walk into the gym, and there she was. And as soon as she saw me, she's sitting there on the inner outer thigh machine, chewing bubble gum. She gets up, and she walks away. I lose, she loses, my company just lost. Because it was so important to me to be right. Because I felt like if I wasn't right, I wronged her. But yet I manifested the exact outcome I was trying desperately to avoid. So one day, I was out with my girlfriend at the time, and you ever wake up in the morning and you find out, surprisingly, it's a beautiful day and you just don't know what to do with it because you thought it'd be a bit of crap, but now it's fantastic. They pay meteorologists for that crap. Nobody gets anything right, but now you've got a beautiful day, let's go outside, don't really know what to do. So I turned around to her and I said, Nikki, what do you reckon we should do? And she said, I've got a great idea. We can go to Madison Avenue and you can buy me stuff. Great, that's a good idea. So we reluctantly went down Madison Avenue and we're walking upwards, actually. And we get to the 30s and we get to 34th Street and there's this big sign that says Astro Gallery. And she said, well, let's stop here. I said, no, 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 let's not stop here. It's just a few more miles to the park. So I'll come on inside. So we go inside, and I am completely resistant. I'm building up my defenses. And how many of you have been shopping for anything in the past 30 days? Raise your hand. OK, that's good for the economy. So you walk into a clothing store or an electronics department, and what's the first thing they say to you? And they've been saying it all the way back whenever this picture was taken, really. And if you're unsure about what they say to you, just look at the writing on the screen as a hint. So you walk up to no one. You just walk into a store, and instantly there's someone in your face. Hi, can I help you with something today? And what is your response? No matter where you live in the world, you say some version of, no thanks, just looking. And it, oh God, have you ever walked into a store really desperately needing help? It's like, I can't find anyone on the floor. Does anyone work in this place? And then somebody comes up to you and goes, hi, can I? No, no thanks, just looking. And then they walk away. It's like, oh, why did I do that? Because you're conditioned 